Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a reply to you, man. Positive versus negative. So you mentioned about the drink. You know, about the motivation that we give people motivation. You mentioned that uh, I sent us to give people motivation to come on out and drive these trucks. And you, you gave an example of your partner who has a 25 year old felony. And he want to go out here and drive trucks. Am I a positive dude? Do I look at a positive outcome? Yes. Am I a realist? Absolutely. The reason why. I have the frame of mind that I have because I accept things for what it is. I had two felonies because I did what I did. And I went and got them dropped down to misdemeanors and now I'm paying a fine. So on and so forth, right? Am I mad at it? No. Did I do something wrong? Absolutely. Am I set the responsibility for it? Absolutely. Is that looking at the positive outcome? No. That's just being a realist. Like, I accept the consequences that I... I accept the repercussions... Excuse me. <clears throat> I accept the repercussions for the actions that I did. Now, for instance, your friend, they got a 25 year old felony. Here's the thing he can still make money driving trucks, he can still go lease. There's a big company. I know for a fact that Atlas Van Lines will pick him up and let him lease. How do I know? Because before I got my stuff dropped down to misdemeanors, they called me and offered me a job to drive and lease. So, being a realist, trying to get things put in order, what do you do? You go drive for that small company for X amount of time, get the experience up, and then you go ahead and jump over to lease. Now, some people say, oh, well, that's, that's the positive way of looking at it. That's not the positive way of looking at it. That's just real deal spill. That's just what it is. Go ahead and sacrifice working for the small companies that picked you up with that 25-year-old felony. Honestly, me personally, if they say, you know, the uh, 10 years, you know, they only go back 10 years for the felony, I wouldn't even put it on there because it's 25 years old. But from what it sounds like, he has a job. So that's looking at it from a, from a realist point of view. Yeah, it might suck for right now, but you have a job. You're getting the experience you need in order to elevate yourself to go make more money. And like I said, Atlas Van Lines is one of the companies that will pick you up, even though you might have a felony. They called me. They say, TRB, you got it. All you need to do is go pick out your truck. I couldn't go pick out my truck because I didn't know. Once I turned my truck in, I had to wait six months. You get what I'm saying? Your drink. Some will say half empty, half full. You know what I say? At least you got something to quench your thirst. <laughs> you know, that's that's just how I look. That's just how I look at things. I don't I don't look at things as necessarily positive or negative. I look at the situation, I get an understanding of the situation, and I execute my plan in order to get myself out of that situation. Sinister is needed because some people need motivation to get off their couch and go do what they need to do. Everybody's not self-motivated. I'm self-motivated. Tucker Brown self-motivated. Loshan self-motivated. But everybody's not self-motivated. Sometimes that's why people pay motivational speakers so much money to go out there and inspire them in order to, to, to reach their goal and their dreams. So a lot of time the YouTube videos that you watch, we're not being we're not necessarily doing motivational speaking. We're giving you our point of view about the, the situation that we're in. Here's an example of me going to SWIP. This is my frame of mind, this is what I'm doing, this is how I'm doing it, here's my plan. So look at things as positive and negative, sometimes you just gotta look at them for what they is. And if it is a negative situation that you get yourself in, you got to have the motivation in yourself to get yourself up out of that situation and on a bigger and better things and turn that negative. Into, I ain't going to necessarily turn that negative into a positive, but don't let that negative stop you from being a positive individual. And by being a positive individual, meaning looking at your dreams, looking at your goals, and finding a way to go get it. So just because you have a certain situation going on, that's negative doesn't necessarily mean that you as a person have to be negative. You just need to have a, you just need to research a way to get get a plan to get up out of that. To, that way you can become a positive person by taking care of your responsibilities. I don't know if that made sense. Let me rephrase that. 
Just because you're in a negative situation, don't let that stop you from achieving what it is that you want to achieve. That's basically what I was trying to say. So positive and negative, yeah. For instance, your situation you mentioned in your video, they was waiting, um, the load didn't pick, get done until eight, but you end up getting two loads in between there. That's a few extra dollars in your pocket. And I, from what the video said, I think you went back and still got that load and ran it. So you still made a little bit extra more money. So as far as positive and negative go, sometimes you need to look at a situation for what it is. Plain and simple. That's how, I look, that's how I look at everything. I just see it for what it is, get an understanding of why it is, and figure out a way to get up out of that situation in order to go ahead and achieve, uh, and achieve what I want to achieve. Now, some people will say, that's, you know, that's motivation. To me, that's not motivation. To me, that's just taking on uh, the responsibility of, because I have responsibility. So that's just me not letting that hold me back from what it is that I want. Long story short. You know, do you need to take responsibilities for your actions? Yes. Can your actions that you do at a younger age hinder you in an older age? Absolutely. But are you gonna let that stop you from gaining what it is that you wanna gain or doing what it is that you wanna do? And if you don't let that stop you from doing what it is that you wanna do or gaining what it is that you wanna gain, and then you go ahead and tell people, look, I wanted to be a truck driver. I wanted to own my truck. This is what I did. Here's the hurdles I had to hop. The thing about the internet that there's somebody out there in the same situation that you are in would watch that video and that would motivate them. Motivation don't necessarily have to come from me saying, yo, you gotta get out here, you gotta grind, you gotta do this, no, no, no. Motivation is just seeing somebody else that's in a similar situation that you're in that didn't let those hurdles stop them from getting or gaining what they wanted to get or gain. That's motivation. I ain't trying to give you an example, uh, uh, an explanation of motivation, but I'm saying some anything nowadays can be motivation. Music can be motivation. Uh, you know, this can be motivation, that can be motivation. Yeah, so, for instance, the video you made about positive and negative, that can end up motivating somebody to, you know, do what they feel like they need to do in order to get in the situation that they, they needed to get into. You said to do that work, said that if you can't drive a company properly, how are you going to own a company? And a year and a half later, you're owning a company, you're doing good, you're being successful. That is motivation. So, the videos that we all put out, regardless if you believe it or not, are is motivation. Somebody's going to watch your video and get motivated by what you said. Somebody's gonna watch your video about the hundred thousand dollars. Gonna get motivated by what you said. Like, wow, if he can do it, I can do it. And that's what a lot of these videos do for people. If they, can, if that, if that guy can do it, I can do it. If I can do it, they can do it. That's what these videos are about. At the end of the day. So even though you might, you feel like you're a realist. At the end of the day, you're still being a, uh, somebody that's motivating people because you're doing something that is positive. You're doing, you're, you're, you're gainfully employed, you're a business owner, you're self-motivated, and you're out there telling the people the trials and tribulations that you have. So yeah, you can look at the positive side, you can look at the negative side. The negative, you're low, you didn't want it because it, it, it loaded at eight. The positive, you end up getting two more loads in between there from what the video said. So, and then you end up getting that load back, you know, and you have the possibility to make more money you know, just by doing what it is that you do. You get what I'm saying? So as far as positive and negative, no, just be a realist. Take our videos as an ex examples and experience that we have. We give them to you so you know what to do and what not to do as far as our situation go if you was to ever get in that situation. All right, it's TRB. Just responding to the big homie, you know what I'm saying? He out here putting out his videos, doing his thing. Uh, Brando get his name already. <laughs> All right. I'll let you. Peace.